An average person has several friends, and yet the statistics of people who are lonely and depressed is increasing. One will start to doubt the genuineness of people who call themselves friends. There are good friends and there are bad ones, but how can you tell when someone is pretending to be your friend to gain your favor? According to IdeaPod, when someone isn't being themselves, you can never fully trust them. That means you can't trust them with your information or problem, and you probably can't share your good news with them either. People who are not genuine friends cannot be trusted with anything. You are better off alone than with such friends. In today's video, I will share with you 5 signs that a friend of yours is a fake friend. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button for more awesome videos such as this one. 1. They never keep their promises. Have you ever had a friend who never said no to any of your requests, yet never actually carried out any of them? You may have. Such friends usually don't ever intend to do any of the things they promised, but simply promise them to look good. Fake friends are not usually real friends. They are never there when you need them and have an agenda of their own. While friends with you, they will still stick to their agenda. This makes it difficult to be friends with them. You may fight with them a lot too. If someone promises you something and end up not doing it, next time, don't ask the person. It is better to know that you are alone than hope on someone who is never actually going to be there. Friends stand by each other. A friend does not do things because it's convenient. They do things because it is the right thing to do. They are supportive and loyal. Don't waste your time rooting for someone who will never be there for you when you need him. People who don't value relationship and are emotionally less receptive and sensitive are those who break promises. If your friend values you, he will make a way to ensure he doesn't disappoint you. 2. They are fair weather friends. These are a category of friends who usually come when the going is good and are nowhere to be found during tough times. They are usually manipulative people who seek their own interest in the friendship and would stay as long as the friendship continues to benefit them. A typical instance is a friend who comes around you when you are boxers at the beginning of the semester. You have money to spare and can entertain him with different treats. You're also at full speeds in your academics and can help him out with one assignment or the other. When, however, you start to decline as a result of depression or stress, such a friend will likely disappear. His number one loyalty is to his interest and nothing else. According to Wikipedia, a true friend is always there to help in both times of triumph and crisis. However, some friends are only there in fortunate circumstances. It can be difficult to handle these types of friendship, but doing so can be accomplished with maturity. This is actually pretty common among young people. Some people are friends when it is convenient, but may choose to no longer be friends when the going is tougher. There will not always be a smile because challenges are unending. There will not always be warmth. There will not always be the friendly, jovial nature that you are used to. But choosing to be there for your friend at the time they need you the most is actually what makes you their friend. Friends support each other. They stand by each other no matter what. The two main attributes of steadfast, long-lasting friendship are loyalty and reliability. And these are missing in fair-weather friends. Fair-weather friends are always open to receive good things. They can generally tell when the going is right. They can eat your food, use your phone, borrow your money, use your car, and even sleep over. But the day you become ill and need caring for, you will not see your friend again. In your inner sense, you may think he had an emergency or something really important to do until you go pick some groceries from the mall and see him playing with other friends. This perhaps trumps caring for a person's sick friends. I don't think so, but hey, what do I know? 3. They pretend not to be mad about things. This is one of the signs of fake friends. They are very good at pretending. They pretend to be cheerful most times while they are really not. People like this can wake up one day and just go. It can be hurtful when you have become fond of them. Fake friends usually want something and will therefore take anything just to get what they want. If a boy wants to sleep with a girl, he will not stop being tolerant until he gets what he wants. He can cook, clean, sing, and do anything she requests of him. She might even start to think he loves her, but this is never the case. Once he gets what he wants, she may never see him again. More likely, 
he will move on to another girl. This is why we should be careful in dealing with people. Not everyone who smiles with us is our friend. Let us deal carefully with everyone, even our most trusted friends. These ones are the ones who have the power to hurt us. A typical guy or girl who is like this hardly complains, but they remember every hurtful and harsh word you speak. They bid their time to pay you back. When they eventually reveal their true nature, they can say or do anything to you that have no regard for the consequences because they were never your friend. They can even spill your secrets in the open to hurt you. You really should never trust such a person. In determining whether a person is like that or not, check to see whether you know anything about them. Do they shy away from talking about themselves and focus on you only? Do they smile when you ask them personal questions and yet say nothing? Do they seem mysterious but friendly? These are some of the signs that show the person isn't genuine. They never really let you in. If they do, their agenda will be compromised. They may actually come to like you. Once this happens, they now know you can hug them too because they have become attached. A fake friend runs away from attachments. They can come to your birthday party but are unlikely to invite you to theirs. Number 4. They talk about you behind your back This is a very common thing about people who are like that. They are constantly talking about you when you are not there. You can only imagine what they would say. The things they don't like about you, they will not have the courage to say. So they will rather say them when you are not there. Such people are not your friends. They damage your reputation because they don't discuss your flaws with you but rather talk to your people who clearly don't care about you. They may also deny it if you confront them with this. You're better off on your own. Imagine working into class and everyone is looking at you funny. You may be wondering why, while when you were gone, someone had told them that your father is in the psychiatric ward wasting away. Such information is deeply personal, the kind you only entrust a friend with. But the fact that other people you didn't tell know means that someone you trust let out your secret. Often, they do this for a cheap laugh at your expense. Such people are monsters, not friends, and you should stay very far away from anyone who has done this to you. If you trust them again, they will do us. A secret is something very personal. Most people share secrets because of the burden of knowing it alone. They do this with people they trust who will help them bear the burden. Trusting someone who breaches your trust can be a very traumatizing experience. If you are not sure whether or not your friends are fake, keep your secrets to yourself. Everything good will come. It is just a matter of time. You will find that one person that makes you feel so complete. You will even be happy too. Embrace yourself and remember to smile. You are your greatest asset. 5. They are manipulative and judgmental. Manipulation is one of the tools fake nice people deploy to carry out their agenda. They understand how to make people feel secure, which is why many of them carry on for a long time before they are eventually discovered. Anyone who manipulates others is not a good person. Always do things you really want to do and not things you are convinced you want to do. This way, you reduce the chances that you can successfully be manipulated.